Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll show you how to create a Gmail account without a telephone number on your Android phone. Let's get straight into it. To create a Gmail account without a telephone number, we need to create a new Google account. This is because your Gmail account is part of your Google account. Don't worry though, we can still create this without a telephone number. There are a number of steps to set up a Google account, but it shouldn't take any more than a few minutes to complete. I'll start by opening the Gmail app on my Android phone. My existing Google account is already linked to Gmail. To create a new account or add an existing one, I'll start by tapping on the Google profile icon in the right hand side of the app to open account settings. To create a new account, I'll click on the add another account option. If I then tap into the Google account, I'm redirected to the sign in page for Google. We want to create a new account, however, so to do that, I'll choose the create account option. Two options are offered when I tap on this link, to create an account for myself or for a business. I'll choose to create an account for myself. This then presents the first step in the account creation journey. We'll start by quickly entering a first name and a last name for the Google account. To confirm that name, I'll tap on the blue next button to proceed. On the next page, two further pieces of information are asked for. Your date of birth and your gender. These are mandatory, so I'll quickly add these for my email account. Once you're happy with the details provided, click on the large blue next button to move to the next stage of the process. On the next page, Google will suggest a number of possible Gmail email addresses for you to use based on the name you provided. Alternatively, you can choose to use a different email address by tapping on the Create Your Own Gmail Address option. If the username you'd like is already taken, Gmail will let you know, but try a number of variations and you should be able to find one that is unique. Again, click on the blue Next button to confirm your choice. Next, you're asked to provide a strong password. Google recommends that your password is at least eight letters long and has a mix of A to Z letters, numbers and symbols like a dollar sign or an exclamation mark. Once you're happy with all the information provided, click on the blue next button again to move to the next page. On this page, you are asked to provide a telephone number. However, if we scroll down to the bottom, you'll see that this is optional. To set up your Gmail account without providing a phone number, tap on the skip link. Gmail now confirms the email address that you have chosen. This is the last piece of information you'll be asked for. If you don't need to make any further changes, tap on the next button to proceed. The final step in creating your Gmail account is to confirm how you want to set up the account. I'd recommend that unless you really need close control of your account configuration, you choose the express personalization option. And remember, you can go back and change your settings at any time on your Google account page. I'll click the next button to confirm that choice. We now need to confirm two final things. Firstly on this page, you need to confirm the personalization settings and cookie use for your Google account. To do that, scroll to the bottom of this page and click the confirm button. And on this last page, you're asked to agree Google's terms of service and privacy policy. To do that, scroll to the bottom of the page and click on the blue I agree button. Once you've done that, the page reloads and the Gmail app is closed. To return to the Gmail inbox, I'm going to tap on the app to open it up again. My original Gmail account is shown, and to access my new Gmail account, I'll tap on the Google icon in the top right of the app, and I'll choose the Gmail account that I've just created. The inbox for that email account is then loaded. I hope you found this Woggle guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like or subscribe so that other users can find it too. Thanks for watching.